This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. Hey, Larry Vickers here, Vickers Tactical. Today I'm going to take you through field stripping the AK. Real simple, a lot of you already know this, but some of the people out there that might be new to the AK, you're going to learn something along the way. All right, so the first thing you want to do, I got my Arsenal USA AK here. Take the magazine out and visually inspect the receiver. Make sure there's nothing in the chamber. All right, looking through the ejection port into the receiver, looking into the chamber, nothing's in there. So the gun is completely empty. Remember, you want to take the source of ammunition out first, then visually inspect the chamber. All right, now, next thing I'm going to do, one of the pluses of the RS Regulate mount is you can leave it in place and disassemble the gun. So I'm going to take my recoil spring guide, push it in, pull the top cover up, lay it to the side. Now I'm going to take the recoil spring guide, push it in and pull it up. And then now I can take the recoil spring out as an assembly. Now all I got to do, make sure the hammer's cocked, which in this case it is. Weapons on fire, all right? Pull the bolt carrier out and up and back. Now, want to go ahead and take the bolt out. Not absolutely mandatory, but why not? Take it and rotate it 90 degrees. And there you go, it comes right out. All right, now I want to take off the gas tube right up here. This is my throw lever for retaining the gas tube. This particular one is very tight. When that happens to be the case, you can take the rear end of the bolt carrier and tap it to bust it loose, all right? Pull it up to line it up to where the top portion here is directly in line at 12 o'clock, and that'll allow me to take the gas tube and pull it off, just like that. Now, this thing's field stripped to the degree where I can clean out the gas system, I can run a rod through the bore, I can clean in the receiver, I can clean the bolt, I can clean the bolt carrier, good to go. Okay, now I'm gonna reassemble it. First thing I wanna do is take the gas tube, put it in place, push it down and back so it clicks in place. And now I can take the throw lever, pivot it down to the 45 degree position. And now the gas tubes lock in place. I wanna take the bolt carrier. I put the bolt back in. I wanna rotate it 90 degrees so the bolt's locked in position. When you have it like that, you know you're in the right spot. Take it, put it in. This portion of the piston goes up top inside the gas tube. Now, once I get it in place, I want to push it down. I'm pushing down on top of the hammer, push it all the way forward. Take the recoil spring guide. I put it in the top hole above the bolt, push it in place. Now, here's a little trick for you. Push it just slightly forward of that shoulder in the rear part of the receiver. Take the top cover, hold it in place real firmly. And then when I rack the bolt, it should come up and pop into place right here, just like that. That's a little trick for you. I got from that from my good buddy many, many years ago, Ken Hackathorn. Real slick. Now I want to do a functions check. All right. So make sure the weapon's cocked. Make sure the weapon's on safe. Safe is the top position. Attempt to pull the trigger. A weapon doesn't fire. Take and put the weapon on fire all the way down. Attempt to pull the trigger. Weapon should fire. Hold the trigger to the rear. Cycle it. Release the trigger. Should hear and feel an audible click. And then pull the trigger again. Weapon should fire. Now you know you did your function check, the gun's good to go. There's field stripping an AK for you. Real simple, real straightforward. Hope you enjoyed it. Special thanks to Arsenal USA, Blue Force gear for the sling, aim point for the Comp M5, and RS Regulate for the scope mount. Have a good one, LAV out. Hey, Larry Vickers here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to the Vickers Tactical channel and take time out to check out some of our other favorite videos.